Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing the April Garden Tour. I've been waiting for it for a little while. Um, so as you guys can probably already see, it is a bit breezy at the moment. But is it beautiful out here today? So, we're, I think we're going to go ahead and get started in a second. Um, I did leave a couple of stuff in my yard. Um, I have worked on... Um, in my garden get working on getting some uh, or get or working on getting an ant colony um uh relocated um oh no <laughs> um i was gonna put my uh, soil and my shovel back in my greenhouse and maybe while i'm in here i'm gonna give you guys an update on these plants in here Get my two shovels. Ah, I messed up. I'm not good at doing stuff with one hand. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, well, first, give you guys an update on this pokeweed. It was here last year, and look at that. It was here last year. And it is coming back like a beast. So I'm going to go ahead and guess. This thing is going to get much, much bigger this year. It is already so big. You guys can see in there. Brand new this spring. Super exciting. I'm kind of proud that I've actually let this thing grow in here. I'm, well... Really? Um, but any oh, she said subscribe to Hudson's channel. <laughs> My sister has 180 something subscribers. No, 100. I don't know. I don't remember. She probably has more than that, I'm thinking now. You can hear that dove. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Hello, dove. Um. <laughs> Yeah, she's still there. But yeah, look at that. Perfect. It's doing pretty well. Um, I found a new tree. I think it it's either it might be a black cherry. I don't know. It don't look like it with this leaf. But if you look at the new Emily, don't you dare. I'll make that dove look bad. Stop. Stop. Did you just was her for how did she not get scared i'm actually kind of surprised Evelyn. Bruh. was it my fault I too big <laughs> okay well we got some funny stuff at the beginning so we got some funny stuff at the beginning of my video um, right here, <coughs> excuse me, some type of vine, but it looks like a tree to me. <laughs> this is all new growth, too. This is brand new this year. And the, the, there's a, another one of them in here, which is right here. So there's another one, which I cut it back last year, and then it got a little bit too big. But, but yeah, that's all that's in here. At the moment. Um... Close that back. Um, right here, um, we, it's, it, these are either baby gem or winter gem boxwoods, but they are all doing really good. That's all new growth. All that light green is brand new growth. Emily, I'm making a video. Um, but yeah, I did cut back the tulips for the year, except that one. I do need to get that one cut back for the year too. Um, but I think they just weren't in the mood to bloom this year. I might have or, uh, planted them too late or something else. I have no idea. I need to research it. But, yeah. Lots of new growth. Super excited. This one's also got a lot of new growth. Or a lot of new growth. It's getting a bit tall. Which is amazing. Zoom back out to one. But doesn't that look fantastic? Oh, <laughs> Good. <laughs> Um, my perennials, 
have never bloomed. I don't know why. I've never seen them bloom. These are about done for the year. Um, these, this is almost done for the year. But this guy right here is actually re or is growing. So hopefully it'll bloom this year. Um, none of these trees are up yet. Um, the black cherry here, um, it's about, it's about to be up. It's just not up yet. Um, it's getting bigger. And then we got the two maples right here that those, these two came up. They're doing well. This one, I think is still alive. Um, I can check. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, it's not. Well, it's all right. I still got these two maples, and I still have a ton of others in the garage. These red buds are not uh, leafed out yet. Um, right here, we got the biggest milk. Or actually, no, this is the second biggest milkweed I have coming up this year, right here, and that's the other biggest. This is the other biggest. This one I just planted this year, and it's just now coming up. Um, oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. Ugh. Put that back over here where there's already dead stuff. Okay. Um, these milkweeds, I don't... Oh, okay. There's that one. Uh, and this one's coming up, too. So, the, this guy's a little bit slower. Um, this guy's coming up. And then we have that one. This milkweed right here is coming up. It's looking well. Um, this one, this big, this giant one is coming up. Oh, wow. That thing got pretty sturdy. I think the roots are growing pretty help, or pretty nicely. Um, and then that milkweed's up. This one right here is up. So they're all alive. And then there's this one. They are all alive this year, which is some great news which I love that we're gonna have some milkweeds here this year. Um, I have not seen these up yet. Oh, this isn't even a milkweed, that's a dying, or dying clover. Um, I haven't seen any of these milkweeds coming up yet, so I'll have to keep an eye on them. Um, there's this willow I stuck in the yard for now, just to, cause I don't know what to do with it at the moment. So I was debating on if I could put it right here in line with the other two willows. Um, my silver maple is coming up, but I'm scared that it won't survive, mainly because of down here. Sad, but yeah, I, I don't, I really don't know. There's a lot of dying happening here too, but I just want that to heal. It's kind of like what's happening in my willow, but my willow had those, um, beetles that bit into the bark. So it was a little bit different than this guy. But man, look at how pretty it looks. I don't know why the leaves are bending like that. That, I'm very, I am very confused. It might be because of what's happening down there. And I just don't know that it's sick. I got the top right here cut off before it spread to the rest of the tree. Because I'm still um, seeing if it will survive. Mm. Mm. But... Oh, excuse me, sorry about that, I didn't even say, excuse me. Um, but these leaves, these newer leaves that are coming out are looking a little bit better. This one looks good. It's just the rest of them that have came, that have came up this year just bend down. It looks healthy, it's just, I don't know what's happening. But if any gardeners are watching this video, please let me know what is happening to this tree. Because I'm start, I've been, I'm, str I've been stressing out lately. I cried the other day because I thought this thing was just gonna die, but all of a sudden it came up, and that, it makes, it makes me very happy to see that this thing is still alive. I love to see a little bit of green back here. I'm just, I'm very stressed if this thing might not live. But what I am hoping is that maybe something, maybe a stem comes up down here. Because that'll be a good sign that I can probably keep this tree alive. Because this big stem right here, I think it's dying. It's, it sounds like an original tree. It, it looks bigger now that it has leaves on it. It's also starting to get a little new growth. You guys can see here, we're getting a lot of new growth. But I, I really, I'm, I'm debating on 
if this tree is gonna have to come out and be replaced, but I don't wanna replace it. Look how healthy it looks. It's just the leaves are so big. This is a big leaf too. It's honestly, that's honestly, is kinda healthy. And you guys can see the breeze. But it's pretty out here today. It's like somewhere around like maybe close to 60, but it's like in the 70s. Um, Right here, my silver maple slash ma red maple. It's more silver maple. Let's look at all. Oh, what the heck? Oh, get off. Because you can see down here, it's, it's more silver than a red maple. But this is the first part to come up this year. The top is still coming up <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool to see this one's healthy this one's totally fine this one ha has never had any problems um so i i highly doubt that this tree might not die i, I highly think that this tree will e not die or not oh my gosh i don't know the right words to say i highly doubt this tree will die i don't think it will because look at how healthy it looks this year look at how fresh that looks that's a healthy sign so should be just fine, hopefully. This is my first maple tree I've ever grown in my whole, in my entire life. So I'm really, ho I'm, I'm glad because there's nothing is wrong down here. It's healthy. The trunk is amazing. It's healed up after old branches. So I have some good feelings about, and I think I see a ladybug larva, or a ladybug, huh? It's a ladybug chrysalis, guys. If you didn't know, ladybugs actually chrysalis. Isn't that cool? Um, the other day, there was like hundreds of ants over here. And now they're like gone. <laughs> well, that's a good sign. Um, so over here, we have a red maple, which it's not up yet. I don't think it will. I don't know if it survived or not. Oh, no, it's still alive. It's just not up yet. That was too much I picked off. But it's all right. It's doing all right. It's obviously alive. I just checked it. Um, this maple is alive. It's coming up. Just looks a little bit sad this year. I think it's just not ready. Oh, well, that's healthy. Just some of the other leaves that have come up already are like, ugh. ugh. This is a pretty dizzy wake-up call. <laughs> you know. <gasps> oh, there's one of them. Okay, so this guy might need to come out. That guy came up. Perfect. I didn't even know. I didn't even know it came up already. I did not see it the other day. That was fast. All right, well, that will come out soon. I got to make sure that gets dug up. I'm glad it's still alive. <laughs> I think I had another one over here, but I don't even see it. So maybe it's not there. Maybe it died. But good news is still have one that's alive. Oh, what the heck? Oh, it's a steak. Yeah, I keep the thing staked. I don't trust it. Oh my gosh. Look at, oh my gosh, it's already grown. That's, oh my. It was that tall this year, or last year. And now it's, holy, it's getting taller. Look at all that new growth. Oh, that looks so healthy. Oh, that makes me happy. Yes. I'd love to see that's coming up though. Um, none of these milkweeds are like popping up yet. This one's probably about to. That one's not up yet. Um, and these two aren't up. Oh, this one's pushing out. That one's up. Oh, and this one's pushing out. All right, both of these are alive. That's perfect. We'll have two extra milkweeds over here just to fill in this corner. Those two I have not seen up yet, so I'll have to wait for those. Um, we got to finish up by the shed. I didn't finish up. I don't want to go to my maples. And yeah, I mowed yesterday, so I got the yard cleaned up. Um, got my weeping willow. The seeds are about ready to come out. I believe there's seeds anyway. <laughs> I haven't seen any baby willows come up yet, so. <laughs> that, yeah. Excuse me. What the heck was that? Anyway, this thing is getting new growth. It's getting a little bit taller. Which makes me happy. I mean, you know, I'm, why is this on the ground? This thing is holding this thing up. This is dead, so I don't need to worry about that being hurt or that, worry about that hurting the tree. It's, um, 
I'll keep it staked. I don't trust it now that this is broken. It wasn't really doing anything. Now the stake is really doing something to help it. But it looks so healthy, though. It's just this part that doesn't look healthy. But it's literally growing seeds. So that's a healthy sign. And I love the way that this big branch right here is actually weeping down. Isn't that pretty? That's why I love these trees. They're just amazing. Um, right here, we got another weeping willow. Um, this, this weeping willow right here was actually from that weeping willow right there, which I propagated. And look at how much it's grown. So... It's just amazing. And this branch, is, it used to lean, but since it's been really windy lately, it's like really like kind of blown it to the side a bit because it, it gets really windy. Like the wind likes to blow a lot over here and it just kind of makes it like sway. I also have it staked if you don't see that right here. I have it staked just for safety. Um, here's my sister's autumn blaze maple. Um, this is in another video. I'm trying to get this big stem right here that will come off. That needs to come off. Um, I'm gonna try to get it to root while it's still attached to the tree. Yes, it's covered with uh, plastic wrap and with some soil inside and the soil is also moist. Um, I sprayed inside of it and it should be good for right now. Um, it's coming up pretty healthy this year, which, or healthily. That's not, I don't think that's even a word, but it is getting a couple new branches up here, which is fun to see. Um, it's getting a little taller. Oh, actually, not even a little bit. Whole, this is new. Holy. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. Excuse me, exciting. Um, are those ants going into my, tr or my sister's tree? Yes, they are. Get the flip out of here. No one is burrowing in this tree. Oh, they're inside of there. Look at this. There's a whole dang colony in my sister's tree. Now that is uncalled for. I might need to spray that. Hopefully it won't kill the tree when I do do it at some point. I never want... Look at this. They literally have babies in there. What the heck are they thinking? They're gonna get kicked out. Look at all of them. I'll make sure they come out. I'll freaking cut the inside of that. That is just, that's embarrassing. Those ants should be embarrassed. And whatever, I'll, I'll know when it roots, because that right there. So. I will make sure that those ants get sprayed if they go back in. That is sad. And honestly, very embarrassing. But either way, it's pretty healthy this year. They're At least they're inside of the dead part of the tree. Yeah? Huh? Uh, Emil, I'll talk about that when I'm done with the garden tour, okay? Sorry. Um, but yeah, this tree's doing well this year. Uh, the only thing that I'm happy about is that they're only, they're in the dead part of the stem. So, hopefully they're not chewing their way inside of the living part of the stem. Or the living part of the tree, because that'll, that'll kill it. <sighs> Man, ants are horrible here. Like, horrible. Um... My red bud is not coming back up yet after I cut it, or I uh, gave it a nice trim. All right, here it is. 
see if I see anything popping up under here. I do not. Only thing I see is a nice old looking weed. Being sarcastic too. But yeah, don't see anything really yet coming up, so hopefully it's still alive. <laughs> That'll be sad if it's not. Uh, where should I go? Oh, I didn't even finish over here. Shoot, I need to remember. I think I, no, I didn't. Um, right here, um, this boxwood used to be where that tulip over there is now. I transplanted it, put it right here. And it looks fantastic. Um, I believe there's also another ant colony in here. Let's see. Good. They may have traveled away. Yep, I think they traveled away. Perfect. Um, but yeah. Um. Oh. <laughs> it's a ladybug chrysalis. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh wait, maybe there is still ants in here. Oh, right in there. Oh, these ants also bite. Oh, there's the layer of them. Yeah, they're going to start pouring out, probably. That's the colony. Oh, they're under the dang tarp. I don't remember that. That's honestly embarrassing. But this one I also transplanted from right there with the chrysalis on it. It's looking well this year. But yeah, I got a little bit of new growth. I mean, it's not too happy that it got moved, but <laughs> um, this boxwood, this is a Justin's brew or Justin Brewer's boxwood. It's doing well. It's very soft, which I love that. I think it's very soft. I love to feel it. Um, it's a Justin Bre or Justin's Bre or Justin Brewer's box, but that's what it is. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, it's doing pretty well. Um, it uh had a it died back horribly. This is what it used to look like. It used to be so short, and then look at all that. That's all new. And you could see if you look in there. All green. If it was an older stem, it would look like, and that's actually a newer one that uh, got do, or did back. It would had a, it would have had bark on it. Doesn't even have bark. So yeah, it's brand new. And yeah, there's that milkweed again. So yeah, I took that or I took that box with, or I took I took this boxwood out from right there and I put the milkweed right there. So I finished this end with the boxwoods. And this, that tulip I need to or cut for the year. I <clears throat> already did that one. But yeah, excuse me. I don't know why, but I'm burping a lot tonight. <clears throat> um, over here, both boxwoods are doing well. And the daffodils I also need to get cut back for the year. They're done. But oh, oh my gosh, this thing is much bigger. Look at that. Oh, that looks so good. Look at all that new growth. This is a sprinter boxwood right here. And this one's also a sprinter boxwood. Look at all that new growth. So much taller. Looks so good. It's so soft. <laughs> it's, yeah. And yeah, the daffodils are done. They're, they're dying back for the year. They bloomed. They did what they did. They looked great. Um, I got both wind chimes right here in the yard because it doesn't I mean oh yeah the wind's also calming down a bit it's not as strong as it was um over here all the milkweeds are coming up look at all of them nothing in here is weeds because we just came in yesterday and we did all that all of that is milkweed and this it might not look like it I don't know but oh my gosh we have so much so many milkweed coming up and look at that one holy and there's that one coming up finally 
we got that one coming up and some of the other ones. And that big one that was right here by the steps coming back. This one's already up almost. Oh, everything is looking so good. We got a new, we got a new milkweed right here. That's nice. And then I think there might be a new one or another new one maybe. Oh, there's a new one right there. Uh, oh, oh, uh, that baby. And then we got that milkweed. That's that one's not new. We got a couple new ones over there. That's awesome. And then we got my pinwheel, which has a rainbow light at night. Super cool. This milkweed is coming up with a new baby friend. That's fun to see. And then I believe there was a milkweed under here. I think we either pulled that one or it's not glowing anymore. I have no idea. Or it's under this one. I don't remember. No, I don't even see it. But, yeah, everything is looking well. And right here we got my little, or my little willow that I propagated. This was my first propagated weeping willow. It's still alive. It looks great. It's doing well. Um, this uh, cherry block, or not cherry, oh my gosh. This uh, sweet gum right here came up this year. This is the one I found under the deck. Um, the sweet gum I had right here unfortunately had passed away over the winter. And I had no idea. And I was very confused on why it was not coming up. And I, um, I like picked at it and I realized it was not, there was no signs of life. And I started, I got a little bit sad, <laughs> but it's all right. I already buried it. <laughs> I actually buried a tree. Um, but anywho, um, we got, uh, the dwarf teddy bear sunflowers. It's a new species to, or species to me or species. No, that's not even how you supposed to say it. Species. Um, yeah, that's what all of these are. And that's what those are right there. And I thought I saw one in here the other day. No, I know I did. Where'd it go? What the heck? I saw that thing in there yesterday, and it's not even there. Oh, man. If it was a bird, oh, man. Okay, let's just get over it. Um, right here, I think I have two morning glories coming up. Um, those are all multicolor sunflowers. I need to get those separated. Ow. My flagpole just, or the strings to my flagpole smacked me. Okay, well, we won't, we won't go that way. Um, right here, I got my creeping flocks. It's doing well. Um, it looks amazing. Um, got a lot of ants in here. That's what all that is. That that was there was a whole freaking colony in there of biting ants. Those things bite. It, like it when they're all around you, they 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 they'll, they'll literally they're literal they'll literally bite you. And it, it and then and they, they bite and then they sting. It's horrible. Um, this or this weed I had right here. I don't know what the heck happened to it, but something destroyed it. Um, um, these are onions. Oh, and look at that. <laughs> I'm glad those are still alive. That's cool. Um, these are, uh, popping plant or popping weeds. I like to play with them sometimes. Sometimes they're back here. I don't, I mean, I think I cut all of them the other day. <laughs> I think they're all gone. I haven't really seen as much lately at all all of them have like disappeared so i'm gonna probably guess all of them are dying which if that's the case that's kind of sad um here is my uh i have no idea what it's called it's some kind of like either cypress juniper some some type of pine but excuse me um well, all that light green is new like, like, all that light green is literally new. It is so soft. But it just happened like that, because a couple days ago, <laughs> there was, like, nothing there. So crazy. It happened so quickly. But it looks great. And then over here, um, I had the mulberry. Um, I pulled it, and then we got some buddies coming in and out, in and out in our house. 
we've seen them in our house too. Like, yeah, I don't know what to do. Um, I think we have a guest. Well, hello. Oh, you're alive. Okay. <laughs> Can you stay there? You're kind of cute. And no, I I see these everywhere. Haven't seen one in our house at my house this year. That's my that's the first one I've seen at my house this year. Now I love to see that. Um, I don't I don't know. Is there more? Because <laughs> there's obviously one. There's there has to be more. <laughs> uh, two more uh, ladybug larva. Got one here, and we got one right here. Super exciting. Um, pretty excited for him. A new mound. I'll destroy it. I don't know if they rebuild it. Bam. Sometimes they'll move. No. He's like, oh. Oh. Look at all of them. They were inside that mound. Oh, there's a hole. Don't see anyone in there. I do want to get some sunflowers here this year. But yeah, I think that's actually. Oh yeah, I didn't even show everything. Been too distracted about ants. Um, right here you got two mammoth Russian sunflowers. Um, and then we got my creeping phlox, which came up and started to bloom this year, which was super fun to find. And this thing right here is coming up, coming back up. Um, we got one of those uh, flat, those yellow flower weeds, and we got three morning glories came up, which I'm super excited about. That evergreen right there is doing okay, just a little bit, well, you know, saddish this year. And no, this garden tour is not over. Oh yeah, we still got uh, two uh, cone flowers right there coming up. Um, and the third one is coming up. I didn't even show them. And just super quickly, since it's close, I'm going to show you guys our hydrangea coming up. I'm going to cover my camera just in case. They take out the poke weed. Oh, they did. Oh. oh, that sucks. Oh well, there's a new one right there up. That one's probably coming back up. Man. Oh my gosh. Look at this poke weed. Was this thing here last year? It had to have been. This thing is huge. Holy, Th this thing was definitely here last year, for sure. Yeah, it probably was. That's a big guy. Phew. Let's see if I see any others, because I'm always curious. Any other pokeweeds, any new ones? Because I'll take them out. Okay, I don't see any more. <laughs> I can't believe he uh, pulled that one. Well, he only got the stem, so. It's all right. All right. Let's get back to our hydrangea. Holy. Look at this thing, guys. Oh, wow. Look at that. I love that. Oh, we got so much foliage. Um, and lots of grass from mowing. Holy. 
Yeah. That's healthy this year. And then while I'm here, I'm going to show you guys my crate myrtle. Look at it. There's my crate myrtle, guys. Oh, looks so good. All right, let's go back to the back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This thing um, hasn't bloomed yet this year, but it's getting new growth. This is the one we have in our front yard in our uh, line garden where our uh, light is at, light pole is at. So, yeah, those are up. Uh, it, I mean, I planted it there this year, and it's actually, I see some little new growth stems, so that's exciting. Alright, let's head up to my room, because I got plants in there. I'm going to show you guys, because it should be part of the garden tour. I'd love to show you guys my front yard, but I don't know if I'm allowed to. Oh yeah, I'll show a couple other things I got over here. Um have a Japanese maple all of a sudden growing in here after I had a tulip poplar and I threw some Japanese maple seeds in here and we had one come up and I was so excited I didn't know it was a Japanese maple at first I just left it to see what it turned in what it would turn into and then we got a Japanese a blood good Japanese maple leaf I was so excited to find that um, right here we got a milkweed which is coming up which is amazing, glad it's still alive. And got a couple things, we got a couple weeping willows in here uh, propagating at the moment. And a couple, or a few pears, or a few of Cleveland, or Cleveland pears in here have grown. Um, not a lot of stuff showing some signs of actual rooting. I mean, there is stuff in here that is rooting, so. But yeah, I'll just show you guys that. And I have a couple, of poke weeds in here i'm trying to get to grow some roots and i have this one this one grew roots or i got a whole stem and it's starting to pop back up it it almost died the whole thing almost died at one point from not having any water and then it all came back so it uh drank back up and it was totally fine and now it's starting to sprout so yeah that's exciting all right let's go in Clean up a small mess right here real quick. Alexa Hudson's room on. All right. So over here, I have a Virginia pine, I believe is what it is. Okay. No, 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 that's not what it was. This is an, a, a loblolly pine, that's what it was, now I remember. Um, what the heck was that? Um, right here, I have a maple, which is sadly like, it's like, what's happening to me, <laughs> you know. Uh, I got a black cherry right here. Um, and you guys can skip through this part. I have to use the bathroom. I will be ab like right back. Sorry about
I am super sorry about that. I'm now back. Um, so yeah, let's get back to what we were doing. Um, right here, I have some kind of vine. I have no idea what it is, but I like them. They're pretty cool. Um, like I said, we got the black cherry right here, which is what this guy is. Um, the other day, I was playing a little game, so if you didn't see that, just ignore it. Um, but anywho, uh, my red maple right here is doing pretty well. Um, it's getting a bit, a lot of new growth this year. Um, I like to see it. Um, this guy's struggling a bit with the Japanese maple. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why I keep ripping. And right here, I think I have some kind of oak. I don't know what kind of oak it is. Right here, I got a little red maple and another red maple right here. Which is looking good. This is also a red maple. It's just like, ugh. Um, this is a weeping willow stem. Um, it had a branch. Accidentally broke it. Um, this is from Urban Air. Well, if you guys read the tag, it says it. But yeah, that's my bracelet. I still haven't thrown it away. Um, right here, I have a, um, as you guys can see here, I have a sweet gum. It's doing well. Have it in water right now. It's doing well in it. It's not minding it at all. And I haven't gotten it planted yet. Um, the roots have grown, like, on one side only. And it did get a little bit of a break. I don't know what broke it because there was no roots there. But otherwise, it's doing all right. It's looking well. Um, it's just really not doing anything like it would, like, where it was. But it looks good still. Um, right here is my pepper, which as you guys could see, I, I think you guys would remember when it was a baby, if I have videos. But look at all that new growth it's getting. That's so healthy. And look at the big leaf. Oh, it's so huge. Holy. And then right here I have another Japanese maple, which came up this year nicely, which I love to see. Um, I have a Japanese maple right here, which this one is my, my forever Japanese maple because it has two stems, which I love. Hey, look at it down here. Doesn't that look cool? So nice. And I have another Japanese maple right here, and I have another one right here, which has two new leaves. That's exciting to find. And then right here, I have a red maple, which all it actually just came up um, about a two about two weeks ago, and it's grown pretty slowly. <laughs> but holy moly, these leaves have gotten so big; they're about the size of my palm. Really cool. And then, oh yeah, that's all over here. Oh yeah, I didn't even pop up and show you guys this one right here this japanese maple it's doing well and then we got a weeping willow that propagated here and it's just now getting a little new growth huh no. yeah i'm videoing um right here i have a uh, propagating weeping willow i don't know hole Yo, holy cow. This guy is ready to plant. Phew, that was fast. It's only been a couple weeks since I put that there. Holy moly, that's insane. Uh, anywho, um, yeah, but yes, this is getting a little bit of new growth, which is great. Um, Right here, which is the main tree I wanted to show you guys too, my black cherry. Excuse me. Uh, lots of new growth this year. Got pretty big. I think this is as big as it's really going to get this year. But holy, it's done really well. <coughs> God, excuse me. Um, This guy, he's not looking too happy. He's, I think he might die at some point, which makes me sad. This, yeah, this might die as well soon, too. Because you guys can see he's looking really sad. 
I don't know what to do about him. So, might say just our last goodbyes if he does die. <laughs> all right, well, that's all that's over here. Oh, yeah, I have a cloudburst leaf, which, oh, my gosh. Oh, wait, that's not a root. Yeah, still not rooting yet. All right. Over here, I have my other plant. <gasps> oh, my gosh, my cloud burst. He's dry. Shoot, I got to water him. Oh, man, shoot, I didn't know. He was looking fine. He looked just fine two days ago. Holy, I was... Use tree water. I'm a thorough water. Should be okay now, hopefully. Holy, I didn't know that that was happening. Oh, poor, poor cloudburst. This is my baby cloudburst. And, oh no, well, that new leaf is dead. This new leaf is almost dead. Oh man. Well, I hope he survives. Why is this not working? I guess it's not plugged in. Is this one plugged in? Uh, well, uh, it probably is. Alexa, Air Master on. Okay. Oh, well, that's plugged in. It's all right. Um, right here, I have the bigger version of a cloudburst. Look at these new leaves. They're starting to mature. The purple is starting to form under. It's looking great. Right here, I got my Aurelia, which is looking great. Make sure it's strong again. Yeah, it is. Um, but yeah, that's actually all the plants I got. Um, wish my cloudburst, or my mini cloudburst luck. I really hope it comes back just fine. I did not realize it was so sad. <sighs> it's stressful sometimes. Well, I'll give you guys an update on it in maybe two more days. See if it came back or came back up. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show you guys our tree. Oh, yeah. I didn't even guys. Sh I didn't even show you guys. There's my vine. It's doing well. It's doing great. Here's the new vine right there. It's doing great. Looks amazing. That's all I have there. Is this still on? Holy I'm going to show you guys my, or our tree. Oh my gosh, it's getting new growth up there. Look at that. Um, I'm going to be posting a picture of what this tree looked like when it was tiny. It's looking great. It's healthy this year. Love to see it. Love to see it thriving this year. Ugh. Oh, I did it the long way the whole day time. But yeah. All right, let's head downstairs, see maybe if I can ask my dad if I can show you guys our front yard real quick, but I have to be careful though.